A group of druids known as the Order of the Silver Oak guard many forests across the lands. The Silver Oak Druids become guardians of the forests. A druid named Balarus, a young and fairly new druid, has spent all of his life training under the guidance of the Order of the Silver Oak, learning the ways of nature since the time he came into the lands. It was his time now. An old druid that guarded the forests of Maladris had now completed his duty. Just like the seasons, a new leaf must be born and grown. Not only the old druid of Maladris had left the lands, but evil had started to swarm and corrupt in his absence. A once peaceful land now slowly descending into chaos. Once Balarus was told of his duty, to serve the forests of Maladris and her people, he accepted the task. To dedicate his existence to protect the loved ones of nature, it took many months of travel to arrive. Countless days of travelling through the forests and leaving his old home behind, sipping from the rivers and enjoying nature's delights on the way. Upon arrival, Balarus felt a strong surge within himself, like he felt stronger. The druids of the Silver Oak told him that he was now bounded to the forests of Maladris. His powers thrive within those lands. If he were to leave, however, his powers would be heavily influenced. Balarus spent the next few months studying his surroundings, touching the barks of trees, smelling the plants, drinking from the streams, visiting the grove, and talking to the animals. The animals were friendly enough, and they hugely respected Balarus since it was his forest now. They were certainly pleased to see the new druid since times had been hard since the old druid's death. Balarus lived in a wooden lodge built by the other druids of the past. It was a nice cosy place. The downstairs had a reading area, which contained law of the lands around himself. Balarus studied this thoroughly. Beside the bookshelves, a table of chairs seated around, with a fireplace keeping the lodge warm. Up the stairs, two bedrooms and a storage room were present. Balarus assigned one of the rooms to himself. The other room was a guest's room, built in case any passive humanoid he came across needed help. The storage room did not contain much, extra rations and food supplies. The lodge was a fine place to live in and could weather many storms if needed. Balarus was of the age of 27, a young age for a druid considering most druids live up to until a maximum of a thousand years, at the earliest a mere 700 years. Balarus carried a unique staff, its materials taken from the legendary silver oak. Its powers were enhanced once within the forests that Balarus was bounded to. Balarus was in awe once he was given this staff. Only a guardian of a forest or an authority in the Order of the Silver Oak could carry one of these staffs. The new commons of the Order had to earn it. Balarus's face was gaunt and concave, a fairly thin, sharp face with a few marks from previous encounters covering the surface. His eyes were of a dark brown like the barks of trees. An equally dark brown beard fell from his chin. His long hair was covered by a cow from his druid robes. The druid robes were green as the plants around him. They kept him warm at night. Beside him, a great wolf named Solaria stood proudly and fiercely. She was a giant of a wolf, a dire wolf. Belarus had tamed her when she was a cub during his initiation for the Order of the Silver Oak. It was one of the tests that he had to pass, a companion by his side. It was night now. The soft winds could be heard howling through the trees outside, full of life chittering and chatting amongst themselves. Belarus had to visit the old druid's grove, a structure built that had been there for centuries. He had to visit it in the morning, Balaris fell into a deep sleep shortly after these thoughts. The next morning arrived. 
Bolaris made his way down the stairs towards his table. He ate some bread and had a drink of water. Solaria was beside him. She too had some breakfast. Bolaris made his way towards the front door and went out into the forests of Maladris, towards the Druid's Grove. The Adventures of Balorus hmm, Everything seems quiet today. Leaves still fall. Nothing out of place so far. The path turns. Let's keep going. The bridge is coming up. The Druid Grove is close. through the trees. Did you hear that? What's that sound? It appears to be in the Druid Grove. It is a spirit. Unusual being, what brings it here? What do you think, Solaria? Let's approach it and see what it wants. Hail, spirit. What brings you here? Great Silver Oak. I watch. You watch? What do you watch over? You. This Great Silver Oak. The way will be long for you. Yes, there will be many years to come.
the silver oak. Let me touch its bark. Hmm, what's this? Hmm. It appears to be a part of the oak. Must keep this for later. I don't understand its properties yet. You have now entered the first way. The first way? What is that spirit? What is this first way? Young druid, you have much to learn. Mm, yes, you are right. I have much to learn. You have been blessed. The silver oak has chosen to grow. The silver oak has chosen to grow. Hmm. Is this a sign from the gods? From nature herself? Chosen to accept you. Then I choose it too. You must protect her at all costs. I will do my best, spirit. A silver oak tree. Should a heart fall into foul hands or be destroyed, then your time on the path will end. Very well, spirit. I shall do my best to keep on to this and protect her at all costs, just like the rest of these forests. be revealed to you. Farewell for now. Yes, farewell spirit. The fog swarms this forest. More fog than usual. I don't know what to think of this day. Still quiet. What do you think, Solaria? Quieter than usual, yes? Let's explore further. Hmm. 
We shall explore the north. Guard the silver oak. Perhaps I should stay near the silver oak all day. The spirit seemed distressed. Maybe my duty is near that silver oak for the day, rather than traveling to the north. Hmm, yes. I think that is wise. Let's return to the grove and keep an eye out for who comes for this silver oak. The tree is sacred. It would be one of my greatest failures if that tree were to fall. Such a quiet day. The winds still blow. What of the badgers and deer? Perhaps they're near the stream, as always. At least the plants thrive, and the trees grow strong. Hmm, where is this grove? Have I missed it? Let me get up my map. I've gone too far. I apologise, Solaria. Let us return this way. It seems I've gone too far. Oh. Badger, you startled me. Follow you. Very well, Badger. I shall do as you say. Where are you taking me? Is there a problem? Are you taking me back to the grove? Thank you, Badger. Hmm. Perhaps I should keep that there for the time being. Bullhorn.
Horus. Yes, spirit. Within the sanctum to the south has grown dark, I sense. The south? Hmm. This is dark news. Be careful, for great darkness moves. What lurks in the south? It is nameless. I just said something. Very well. I shall see to this matter. Something insidious moves. This evil can't be tolerated in these forests. I shall head to the south, spirit. Thank you for the information. Until we meet again. Indeed, spirit. Indeed. Come, Solaria. We need to go to the south. There is a dark presence there. Presence. This is disturbing. Ah, the stream. the animals. I saw a badger earlier. Perhaps they're not thirsty yet. Oh! A wolf! Come on, Solaria. Ah! I shall cast forth this summon badger to aid you. Wolf, Solaria, come back. 
Don't go charging off like that. Mm, you're injured, Solaria. Here, eat this. Mm, a wolf. Oh, another wolf. This wolf. What is it doing? Come, Slyre and Badger. Hmm. This wolf. And it attacks. How strange. Why did that wolf attack me? It seemed relentless. So focused. How strange. Was that? Did I see something then? Hmm. I sense something dark here. Something's corrupt in the animals. Was that noise? Did you hear it, Solaria? It sounded like something being opened. Something heavy. I can't see anything. I'm sure I heard it. There's something unusual here. Something that plagues these forests. Huh? What are you doing, Sly? Oh! Ah! Where do these creatures come from? A fire beetle? Ah, oh, yes, it's. Hmm. I sense something doesn't want me here. It is my duty to guard these forests. So we shall explore further. Wonder when the next attack will be.
Perhaps I should walk quietly. to go to the south as the good spirit said I just need to find a clearing to get through <sighs> it has always been difficult to get to the south Where's that gap? Hmm. I could go that way too, but no. Not today. I need to look on my map. Perhaps this will be of assistance. Where is that clearing? A bat. Yes, let's follow this bat. This forest will guide us. Does this bat take me? Hmm. But this is not the south. Perhaps I need to go this way. Yes, let's go this way. 